total joint replacement involves replacing the entire joint. So in a hip, that would be uh, replacing the acetabulum or the cup with a metal and plastic liner and replacing the femur, top of the femur with a stem and a ceramic ball. Um, in the knee, one can have a total knee replacement where all three compartments, medial, lateral, and patellofemoral or kneecap are replaced or partial where one part of the joint is replaced, either just the patellofemoral or just the medial or lateral uh, portion of the knee. At Brigham Health, we've begun to institute um, more same-day surgical experiences for total joint replacement. The length of stay has shortened across the spectrum of joint replacement procedures. Uh, when I was training, the length of stay in, in, in joint replacement was 10 days to two weeks. Now it's not uncommon for people to go home the same day or the next day. Uh, the important thing is to match the patient uh, with the right experience, and we're able to do that here. We don't try and put everybody into one box. Um, and because we deal with a number of different uh, comorbidities and, and a large number of very sick and, and highly specialized patients, uh, we need to be flexible about how we apply those principles to those patients. Total joint replacement, which now occurs about 1.5 million times a year in this country, is now a very routine operation. It's a quality of life changing operation, meaning that patients go from being disabled to being able to perform jobs, work, activities of daily living, recreational activities within several months. And their health status improves to the point where they're able to do things that they couldn't do before or do them at a much higher uh, level of function than they did before the operation.